Today we're making rustic Italian bread. Come on in, welcome to my home. I love Italian bread, I'll admit this, and so I've always liked to bake my own whenever I can, and I use it for so many different things. Now this Italian bread is really cool. It's a very rustic, like think old-fashioned, homemade kind of loaf kind of thing. You can do this in really easy. Now if you do not have a bread maker, I love my bread maker. In fact, I love my bread maker so much it is listed down below in my description, in my links for my Amazon affiliate site. This bread maker is amazing. It can make all sorts of things, not just bread, but jams and different kinds of breads. But if you do not have a bread maker, you're going to have to knead your bread for about 10 minutes and then let it rise. But this we're going to set on the dough setting. This is so easy. Now, if this is your first time here, remember to subscribe. Every Tuesday's a recipe. We love making these recipes. And this is one that, like I said, I've always made this for every time I need Italian bread. Goes together super quick. Let's start off with the ingredients. The ingredients are listed down below, but we're going to start off with three quarters of a cup of warm water. Now the one thing to remember is you need to put your ingredients into your bread maker according to the way that your manufacturer says. If you don't, you're going to have some problems, okay? So then I'm going to add my sugar, and that's a tablespoon of sugar and a tablespoon of softened butter. And I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt. On top of that, we're going to dump our two and a half cups of flour. Make a little well in that for our one tablespoon of yeast. Excellent. Now I put it into the bread maker. I will turn this on to the dough setting and then I will let it go. It will go through all the kneading process and then let it do its first rise. Our dough is out of the bread maker. Now I'm going to scrape it out of the pan. My fingers are lightly floured, I will admit that. And my board is also lightly floured. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll it into a loaf. Perfect. Now that it's loaf shape, looks great. Once it's shaped, I'm going to cover it and put it in a draft free area and let it raise for 20 minutes. It has been 20 minutes and our bread has risen. Now I'm going to take this knife and cut three little tiny strips across the top just to give it some breathing room so it can expand. Now I'm going to put it in my preheated pre 400 degree oven and bake it for about 20 minutes until it is done. We'll come back once it's done. I can hardly wait. Our bread is out of the oven and it looks wonderful. Let me cut off a piece. It is still nice and warm. And you know what I'm going to put on it? I'm going to put on my garlic butter. Yes, roasted garlic butter. Now if you want to learn how to make your own roasted garlic butter, click that eye in the sky. It'll take you to that day. Nice big helping. All right, let's give this a taste. Wow, that is so good and so wonderful. It took really no effort at all to make both of these, the garlic butter and also this rustic Italian bread. So wonderful. I can hardly wait to do other things with it, which will come up in the next coming weeks. But I hope you do make this. If you do, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. And I hope I get to see you again next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time.